Hello everyone, I'll go and show you exactly how to use the Apple Notes application on your iPhone. Now this is going to be super quick and not anything crazy, it's a very basic application to use. So what you want to start off by doing is you want to go and find the Notes application, it looks something like that. So go and open up Notes and you'll come into this specific page. Now at the very top you'll see a little folders icon. Well, if you go and click on folders, you can go and create different folders of Notes. So you can see we have our standard Notes right here. Usually, personally for me, I don't create different notes, folders, or anything like that. But if you're into it, you can always, in the bottom left corner, click on, you know, create a new folder. So you can go and create a new folder. You can call this, like, whatever you want to do, family or whatever it is, right? It doesn't really matter. You can go and click done. So now you have a new folder called family. So if you want to keep notes about your family or whatever, you can keep it here. Personally for me, though, I just keep everything inside of my notes application, like just standard notes. I don't make other folders. So if you're not really into it, you can just kind of forget about that. Now when you come here on the right side, you'll see three dots. So these are pretty much just different ways you can view it and sort your specific you know, notes you know, that you've made. So you can view it as a gallery with your notes. You can sort by you know, the oldest to the newest or whatever. You can group by dates. For me personally, like I said, I keep everything pretty much stock, so I don't really bother with those things. Here, you can pretty much have a search bar, so you can search for your notes. If you want to search for attachments or anything like that, you can go and view those things too. And that's it for the top. Now, if you want to go and start creating notes, what you can do is on the bottom right, you can go and click on that little note edit button right here, and that is it. Now, once you're here, usually the first line will be like highlighted or like big and bold. So if I typed in like groceries, for example, right? Well, I can go and type in groceries. It'll be by, you know, big and bold. So now I can click enter. And now it's going to allow me to go ahead if I click enter twice to have this basic setup. So if I wanted to start typing, I can go and start typing as I normally would. Or if I wanted to, I can utilize some of these little things that Apple has given us here to create some things. So if I wanted to create some sort of like Excel sheet kind of thing, I can go ahead and kind of, you know, have it set up here, which is pretty cool. If I wanted to go ahead and have a, you know, different setup of text like this, I can go and change my bold text to a title or to, a, you know, a heading of some sort. I can bold it. I can not bold it. I can italicize it. I have a lot of capability here too. And that's that for the second option. If I want to create some sort of check mark, bullet mark kind of thing, I can go and tab this on or off and I can create some sort of bookmark thing. So if I wanted to go and, you know, remember to buy eggs and remember to buy milk or whatever the case is, I'd be able to, you know, kind of fill it out like this and I can check mark it as I go. I do this a lot, which is pretty crazy. If I wanted to take a photo of something and bring in that photo, I can choose here. I can choose a photo I already have, or I can even take a photo and just go and bring it in like this. And that photo can actually be brought into my note like this, which is pretty cool. And you can even mark up inside of a specific, you know, thing like this. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and draw right here. For example, if I wanted to down here, I could go ahead and, you know, draw a smiley face. And a lot of people who use Apple pencils will typically use their notes here. So you can go ahead and draw on your specific note like this. And that's that. You can change your colors and everything. I'm sure most of you probably use something like this before. And that's how you use that. Now, notes will automatically save. So you can just, you know, swipe out of here. And you'll start to see your note here. Now, if you want to delete it, you can always swipe to the side. You can delete your note. You can, you know, share the note out. You can also go and hold it down like this. And you get a few more options. You can pin your note, which basically just pins it to the top. If you want to lock your note with a password, let's say your, you know, specific note is very, very secretive. You don't want anybody to know about it. You can use a passcode with your iPhone or whatever. And you can lock this note up. If you hold it down one more time, you can see that we can share this note out with other people. We can move this note to another folder and we can delete the note. And it's all stored on iCloud, so you can access this note whenever you want to. And that's pretty much how it goes. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.